This video will show you how to import your YARN files into the dialog system for Unity. We'll start with a project in which we've already imported the dialog system. The next step is to import the YARN Spinner for Unity package. Go to the website yarnspinner.dev. Click Install for Unity. We'll add the package from a Git URL. Copy this URL to the clipboard. Back in Unity, open the Package Manager window. Select Add Package from Git URL and paste in the URL. Also import the sample. Next, we'll open up the Dialog System's Yarn Import window. Select Tools, Pixel Crushers, Dialog System, Import, Yarn. The first time you do this, the Dialog System will ask if you want to enable the Yarn Import code. Click Enable. After it compiles, select the menu item again to open the import window. The player name field tells the dialog system what to name the player actor in the dialog database. The actor regex and line prefix regex tell the dialog system how to identify actor names in your yarn files. In general, you can just leave these alone. We'll cover actor names in a bit. Yarn files can reference external functions that aren't built into Yarn Spinner. If you're familiar with Yarn Spinner's sample, you may have noticed that it uses a function named visited to check if the player has visited a node yet. The custom commands file specifies where to create the base script that you'll use to implement external functions such as visited. Add your Yarn files to the Yarn Source Files section. If you've set up localization in Yarn Spinner, add the localization CSV files here. The bottom section specifies how and where to save the dialog database containing your Yarn content. Before we click Import, let's take a look at one of the Yarn files. The dialog system will use the Yarn file's title as the conversation title. The default actor regex extracts the character name from the text preceding the first colon. On this line, the actor is the player. Here we can see where an external function is called. And here's one of the localization files for good measure. Back in Unity, click Import to create the dialog database and custom commands file. Let's take a look at the database. Here are the actors that were detected in the yarn files. And here are the variables. And this is one of the conversations. If we click on a node, we can see that the localized strings were imported too. Now we need to implement the external functions. To do this, we'll need to create a subclass of the custom commands file. Since the importer generates the custom commands file automatically, we can use the subclass to write the actual implementation without worrying about the importer overwriting our code. Create the script and open it in your code editor. The Yarn Spinner integration page has instructions on how to fill out the file. Briefly, we need to write the functions then register them with the Dialog System's Lua environment. We'll zip through the process in this video. Since your actual script will be entirely dependent on what external functions you've defined in your yarn story, we won't explain this one in detail except to point out that you should override the register functions and unregister functions methods. You can view details of the process in the online manual.
When you set up your Dialog Manager game object, add your subclass to it, and also assign your Dialog database. If you'd like some starter code and example scenes, go to the Dialog System Extras page on pixelcrushers.com. Download the Dialog System Yarn Example Scenes package. It contains a few versions of Yarn Spinner's sample set up for the Dialog System. These are 2D scenes, so make sure you've enabled the Dialog System's 2D support in the Welcome window. The first example uses basic overhead subtitle panels. Notice that it also implements the external set sprite function for the ship's images. Here's another scene that uses a screen space dialog UI. And if you've enabled Text Mesh Pro support in the Welcome window and imported Text Animator, which is a separate paid asset, you can play a third scene with text that's animated by Text Animator. Once you've imported your yarn content into the dialog system, all dialog system features will work with it as normal. This includes the interaction system and event system, dialog system triggers, and dialog actor components. And that's it for the yarn integration. If you have any questions about importing yarn into the dialog system, let us know on the forum. And happy writing!